Let's look at this example from the textbook, 16.14 on page 366. Now we have a rigid body, okay, a rod, okay, attached to, a, to two wheels, uh, two rollers on each side. And these rollers are confined to roll on these two slopes, okay, each at a 45 degree angle. Okay. At this very instant, Okay, when the rod is horizontal, the velocity of this point okay, on the left-hand side is 2 meters per second, and then the acceleration okay, of point A is 3 meters per second squared. Okay. You're asked to find the angular acceleration at this very instant. Okay. So the roller is rolling this way. Okay. So this uh, dashed line just shows you that sometime later it's going to end up at this position. Okay, so it's going this way. So, well, the length of the rod is given 10 meters. The equation for acceleration is given as, as this. Okay, so once again, AB equals AA plus this pure rotation term. Okay, so this is rigid body motion, general motion. This is the translation part. And then the whole thing is the rotation part. Okay. But looking at this equation, we recognize that we need an angular velocity, okay, which means that we first need to use the velocity method to find this omega. Right. So whether you use the uh, rigid body motion equals translation plus rotation method or instantaneous center method okay, to find the angular velocity okay, and then come back to this equation okay, and then solve for the acceleration. Okay, so before we actually apply this equation, so let's first find angular velocity. Right? And in this problem, um, I'm going to use the inst instantaneous center method because I like the method. Okay. So, first, velocity. Okay. So, I'm going to draw this rigid body at this instant right here. Okay. Horizontal. That's A and B. Next, you draw the velocity, okay, velocity at each end. So at point A, velocity is coming down at 45 degree angle. B A, that's given, that's two meter per second, 45 degree. Velocity of B, since you know how it is rotating, okay, so you do know that velocity B has to go up this way. So that's V B, okay, at 45 degree angle also. And since you know that this is rotating this way, so okay, it would tend to have counterclockwise um, angular velocity. Right? Okay, so the next step for instantaneous center method is you just draw a perpendicular line to each of these velocities. So at this point A, you can draw this line right here. At point B, so draw this other line right there where they meet that's your instantaneous center method or point O okay so obviously this is 45 degrees that's also 45 degrees therefore this is 90 degrees and this point O due to symmetry uh, this is actually um, an isosceles so you're going to 10 meters, so this is 5 meters, 5 meters a piece. So we need to find this length OA and length OB okay, for the instantaneous center method. And the equation would be omega, omega of AB, okay, which is required here, right? That's what we need up there. So this equals velocity A divided by L O A, which is 
also equals to the B L O B. All right. So this is instantaneous standard method. So from this uh, relationship, well, since this is the unknown, so I'm going to use these two guys right there to solve for omega AB. So since I know the A. So all I need is just find out what LOA is, the distance. Well, you know that this is 5 meters, and then this is 45 degrees, so it can be figured out quite easily. So LOA um, equals, what is it? So we have either sine or cosine, doesn't matter. Okay. So this is LOA sine, so that would be 5 meter uh, sine 45 degrees. Okay? So you can keep it as it is, doesn't matter. So omega AB equals VA, which is 2 meter per second, divided by LOA. So 5 divided by sine 45 degrees. Just bring it up there. So 2 over 5 sine 45 degrees. Okay, so it turns out about 0.283 radian per second. Okay, it's going counterclockwise. All right, see how fast it is—the instantaneous of the method. Okay, just knowing one velocity, you can find the angular velocity. Okay, from this relationship. All right. Okay, so let's move on. So this equation up there, and see what it gets us. Okay. So I found, I'm going to write out here, omega equals 0.283 radian per second. I found that. Okay, okay let's draw this. All right, so this actually refers to my rigid body motion equals translation plus pure rotation okay at this very instant okay and that's my a b a b a b left hand side the general rigid body motion, just draw the velocity and acceleration. So here you know, okay, at this point right here, okay, since this is the acceleration uh, equation, um, I can just draw the acceleration vector. Okay, the so AA, and then so it's accelerating down. Okay, so you do know that B will be accelerating up as well. So, and the acceleration vector of B is also confined to this angle, right? Up the slope, so it's 45 degrees. And then, since this is accelerating this way, right? So, you know that the angular acceleration is also counterclockwise, which is alpha. Okay, and then you can also draw the angular ex um, velocity vector here as well. Okay, so that's omega. Okay, so that is your rigid body motion, the actual motion right here. We split that into pure translation and rotation. Again, for translation, we usually use whatever that's given. Okay, so. What we know is acceleration at A. So I'm going to use point A as the translational um, quantity. So it's as if this whole rod is accelerating at AA. Okay? And then the pure rotation part, yeah, that's where these two terms come in. Okay? 